Uh, something I had read uh, about you is that when you were working uh, as a freelance editor with a, with a local publishing professional who was mentoring you, uh, she abruptly told you, Melanie, I think you're an editor, but you you think you're an editor, but you're not. You're an agent. And I was so curious. What do you think um, prompted her to say that? What makes you a, a, an agent and not an editor? Uh, I feel like I've said this many times because people are always like, how did you know? And like, that was just such a like informative moment in my life, to be honest, as far as like my professional life, that it, it stuck with me. Um, so the woman who told me that her name is actually Mary Bisbee Beak and she's, she's older and she's been working in the industry for some time. She's, she does like freelance publicity for more literary fiction. Um, and she was based out of Portland when I was there for grad school. And she was someone who would often stop by like meetings and, um, you know, different classes and just this kind of like, she wasn't actually part of the faculty at that time, but she was always around and there for advice and kind of mentorship. And I, my second year in graduate school, a lot of the um, second year students apply for different positions at the press or, you know, for the program, like publisher's assistants, like running, um, you know, the design department. Um, and one of those positions was managing a conference. So every year they they would do this. Um, I think they still do it. It's called the right to publish conference. And it's 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 really all about like demystifying the publish the whole publishing process and industry for you know folks that are in that Portland area. Um, and they they ran it every year and it was a fundraiser for our graduate program too. Um, and so I was putting on that and I was just kind of like we just started to get close and we just started to go out to like coffee meetings like once a week. And she was just like, she almost became like a friend. Um, and she was just a really good mentor. And at one of those coffee meetings, I honestly cannot remember what I said. Like, I don't even think there was a natural like segue into her blurting that out. <laughs> she just like, she was very like no nonsense, very blunt. Um, in a way that I love, but, you know, I feel like a lot of my other students were scared of her. <laughs> like a lot of the students that I went to graduate school were like, how do you like, how are you just friends with her? She scares me. <laughs> um, but I love, I love Mary and I still to, you know, to this day, I love her. And yeah, she just kind of like, again, I don't remember what I said, but she just kind of like cut me off and was like, you know, I've been thinking about this and like, I wanted to say it. And, and then she blurted out. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't think you're an editor. I think a lot of the people in this program think they're editors, which I think is true for the majority of book publishing programs. I think a lot of people go into them thinking I'm going to be an editor or, and maybe that's one of, you know, I think that's one of the roles in publishing that a lot of people know of, even if they know nothing else about publishing, like someone edits books. Like we don't think about all the other jobs that exist in this industry that have nothing to do with editorial. Um, and yeah, so she just, and then she just was like, I think you're an agent. And as far as like why she said that, I can only think like I, I was managing the conference. I was very like interacting with people. I was the, the year before I took over that conference, we lost money. It's supposed to be a fundraiser. <laughs> we, we lost money. We didn't make a cent. And I went into it very like, like not even like, I wasn't even wearing like my publishing hat. I was like, it didn't involve like the kind of creativity that comes with like an editorial position. I really just went into it. Like, we're going to make money. We're going to make this work. And so I like, was like, you know, I put together like a business plan. I was like, how do we like, how do we make real money doing this? Like we, we went in with a plan of attack. Like we're going to get sponsors. We're going to get donations. Like we're like, what, what, what is the price point of the tickets need to be in order for it to be like, you know, valuable and something that people actually buy, but then also something that we can actually make money off of too. Right. Like this is supposed to be a fundraiser. Um, so I really went into it with this kind of like entrepreneurial mindset that I think maybe she perceived as like, not everyone in our program was like that. They were more, more there for the books, you know, more there for like the very pure 
like I love books and I just want to be around them. Um, where I was like, yeah, yeah, books are great, but like, let's make money. <laughs> you know, so like, so I think that's why is just being like a people person, being able to like put like I'm I wouldn't call myself an extrovert actually. I think I'm more like an extroverted introvert. <laughs> so um, but maybe just having that that ability to kind of um you know, be more public facing and to have that kind of that business sensibility. Um, and I love the creative parts of my job. Don't get me wrong, but, um, I love the blend of different, like parts of your brain (laughs) that you use when you're an agent. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that's why I, who, who can say, I don't know. (laughs) I should ask her actually, why'd you say that? Um, but I think she was right. Like here I am. And (laughs) And well, um, literally heard you say books are great, but let's make money. She's all agent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't. Uh, that's the clip for the episode. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, uh, any any potential authors who would like to query you just got very excited. Like, yes, that is the attitude. Go sell my books. <laughs> like I'm able. Don't get like. There's a very like pure part of my soul don't get me wrong but yes no I think there is the like that pure part of me but then yeah that more like okay but let's make money (laughs) like let's like we want to make a living doing this um and so I've always liked both and so yeah I guess like that would be my best guess as far as like why she brought that up um because she saw that spark in me and that kind of like hunger for something more um and yeah 